Many of you watched the very popular crime drama Blue Bloods just before the news. Tonight we're finding out what it's like working the blue line in the village of Liverpool. And a chief is talking about his department's reputation for pulling people over. The Liverpool police chief is Donald Morris. He was sworn in as an officer back in 1984 with the New York City Housing Police Force. He leads a department of four full-time and seven part-time officers. We took a spin around the village of Liverpool with Chief Don Morris. Small community and the people care about each other. Who says policing here is all about the little things, like officers on the midnight shift checking on businesses. On uh, occasion we have found the doors open uh, when we're checking and we'll make notification uh, to the business owner and make them aware that their door is open and if we can secure it, we'll secure it. And Otherwise, we'll stand by until they arrive to lock it up themselves. Liverpool has an almost legendary reputation when it comes to police traffic stops. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 36,000 cars pass through on any given day. Just about everyone knows someone who's been pulled over. That's right. The chief says Slow down. <laughs> strong enforcement is the result of community complaints. I want to be clear in your in your philosophy on traffic enforcement and, and that it does not stem from officers being bored and having nothing to do and sitting there and, and waiting to ping you. It comes from the people who you're responsible for Correct. who call you and say, these people are just flying through here or some, some drunk almost hit me. I mean, that's, what, that's really where it stems from. Yeah, uh, um, throughout the year, it doesn't matter what season. I get complaints from residents regarding the traffic and it's re regarding uh, people disregarding the laws and it's speeding, uh, stop signs, the red lights and the crosswalks. In your mind you have no choice as leading this department to make sure that this area is enforced and enforced strongly. I do and uh, it's because of the complaints and to prevent injuries and accidents. The village has gone many years without a deadly crash. It's a place that prides itself on its walkability in just about any weather. We grew up with Seriously. the police department. And it's the weather from half century ago that we found the chief talking about back in his office. His dad, a New York City police officer, delivered a baby in a blizzard and it made headlines. Chief Don Morris really is a blue blood. Well, my father told me a couple of things when I told him I was going to pursued a career he said number one he says you know treat everybody like you would like your family to be treated and I hope that throughout my career that I have done that and then the second thing was um, don't do anything that you wouldn't do in front of your mother or I so I mean it's pretty pretty simple advice but if you follow it it'll take you a long way Sure will. Back when he was a teenager, Don Morris was held up at gunpoint in New York City. Being a crime victim didn't feel good, he says, and it played a role in his desire to become an officer.